These are my round two AFCON qualifier predictions. I'm dropping part one today and then part two will be up tomorrow. Without further ado, let's dive in. It's Equatorial Guinea taking on Libya. Now, Equatorial Guinea in their last five games have won three and lost two, so in some decent form. Their last result in round one was against Tunisia where they lost 4-0. They only won down with 56 minutes played, but then after they got their red card, Tunisia scored three goals in eight minutes, making it 4-0. Tunisia were the favorites to win this game, so Equatorial Guinea losing that game wasn't a big surprise then Libya on the other hand in their last five games have also won three and lost two so also aren't in terrible form they played Botswana in their round one AFCON qualifiers and they actually won 1-0 against Botswana they did dominate most of that game Botswana did surprise me in the first half but then Libya came back and ended up winning that game Libya now in a position where they actually need to beat Equatorial Guinea because their last game is against Tunisia and I don't see them winning that so that's going to be quite a tough outing for them then my prediction for this one equatorial guinea are favorites however i do think libya could cause an upset so i'm going for one nil libya upset massive call and then my betting tip is under three and a half goals Our next fixture is Eswatini taking on Burkina Faso. Now, Eswatini in the last five games have won two, drawn two, and only lost one, so in very, very good form. In the first round, they pulled out a massive result, drawing to Toga 2-2. No one saw that coming, and they equalized that game in the 95th minute, so it's really showing some fight and a will to qualify for the AFCON in 2023. Then Burkina Faso, on the other hand, prior to their first round win, they haven't been in great form, only winning one out of their last five games. They Round one was against Cape Verde. It was one of the bigger games of round one, and just as I predicted, they won a 2-0. Burkina Faso are quality side, one of the better teams in Africa, and now they face Eswatini. I don't think it'll be too much trouble for them to beat Eswatini, but you never know. Eswatini did impress me against Togo. However, my prediction for this game is a 2-0 Burkina Faso win. However, Eswatini could maybe, if they pitch up, pull out a draw here, but I do think Burkina Faso to win, and that is my betting tip, Burkina Faso to win. Then the other fixture in that group is Cape Verde taking on Togo. Cape Verde have three wins and two losses in their last five games. And as we spoke about it, they lost 2-0 to Burkina Faso. Cape Verde are quality side and I do expect them to step up here against Togo. Togo, I hope I'm not butchering that name, but are undefeated in their last seven games. So on quite a bit of a tear. Like we said, they drew to Eswatini 2-2 in their last game. My feeling for this game is that if Togo show up, there is a definite possibility that they can bruise this wounded Cape Verde team. I could see them winning this game. However, I just don't think that'll happen. I think Cape Verde will be able to pull this one through. So I'm going for a 2-1 Cape Verde win. And my betting tip is over one and a half goals. Our next fixture is Zambia taking on Comoros. Now Zambia in their last five games have won one, drawn one, and lost three, so not in great form. They played Ivory Coast in the first round, losing to them 3-1. All four goals were in the second half, which was quite surprising. Now Zambia are in a position where they need to beat Comoros to stand any chance of going through to AFCON next year. Comoros, on the other hand, have won three and only lost two in their last five. So Comoros are definitely in some good form. They beat Lesotho 2-0 in the first round. Lesotho did, however, surprise me they stuck with Comoros in the first half and then Comoros just showed their quality and bagging two goals to finish that game off my prediction for this I think it's going to be very very tight it's almost impossible to call a winner but my prediction for this is a 2-1 win to Zambia my betting tip is over one and a half goals Our next fixture is Rwanda taking on Senegal. Now Rwanda haven't won a game in their last eight fixtures. In the, in the first round of the qualifiers, they drew 1-1 to Mozambique. A good result for them there. Going in Mozambique were favorites to win that, so Rwanda did well to stick with them and pull out the draw. Now Senegal, on the other hand, have only lost one game in their last 10 outings. Senegal is one of the best teams in Africa, and I'm really, really excited to see what they can do at the World Cup. I do think they could possibly make it out of the group stages, but a video later will come out about that however in the first round they did beat Benin 3-1 flexing their muscles and showing why they are the best team in Africa at the moment Sadio Mane did end up scoring all of those goals and claiming, claiming himself a hat-trick who else would have done that besides him so my prediction for this is the same scoreline as the Benin game it's 3-1 to Senegal and my betting tip is Senegal in over one and a half goals <laughs> 
Our next fixture is Kenya taking on Namibia. Now, neither of these teams have played a game yet in the AFCON qualifiers. Kenya, in their last five games, have won one, drawn two, and lost two. And they're disappointed in their World Cup qualifiers, only winning one out of their six fixtures, ending third in their group behind Mali and Uganda. Then Namibia, on the other hand, haven't won a game in their last five, drawing two and losing three. Sorry, Namibia actually have played. They played in the first round. Kenya, the only team that haven't played. But Namibia drew 1-1 to Burundi in the first round of these qualifiers. Namibia scored early and then allowed Burundi back into the game in the 88th minute. That result opens this group up for that second spot in the group with Cameroon probably going to take that first spot. Now, my prediction for this game, these two teams met last year and fought out a 0-0 draw. So my prediction for this is a 1-1 draw and my betting tip is under three and a half goals. Our next fixture is Uganda taking on Niger. This is a very promising game. Two very equal teams. Uganda, in their last five games, have won two and lost three. In their first game, they went down 2-0 to Algeria in the qualifiers. Algeria were expected to win that game. I thought the scoreline might be a little bit worse for Uganda, but they managed to stick in there. This is a very, very important game in the context of this group because this is a very competitive group with Algeria, Niger, Tanzania, and Uganda. Any three of those last teams can claim that second can spot and go through. Where Niger on the other hand in their last five of 1-1, drawn three and lost one. They drew to Tanzania 1-1 in the first round. Nigeria are playing an international friendly against Algeria tonight so it'll be interesting to see how they go there. I think it's going to be a low scoring game. It's going to be very tight but I do think Uganda have the slight edge over Niger here. So I'm going for a 1-0 Uganda win and my betting tip is under three and a half goals. Our next fixture is part of that group as well. It's Tanzania taking on Algeria. Now, we just spoke about Tanzania drawing 1-1 to Niger. And Algeria getting that 2-0 win over Uganda. I think Algeria are going to have too much for this Tanzanian team. And my score prediction for this is a 2-0 win for Algeria. And my betting tip is Algeria to win. Our next fixture is the Congo Republic taking on Gambia. Now the Congo Republic have only won one out of their last 10 games. They suffered a 4-0 loss to Mali in the first round, so not great by them. And this is pretty much a must win for them if they're looking to qualify for AFCON next year. So a very, very big game because they are currently behind Mali and Gambia. Gambia obviously being quite a decent side. They have won three, drawn one and lost one in their last five fixtures. And they beat South Sudan 1-0 in the first round of these AFCON qualifiers. So Gambia we are definitely looking to win this game and move up that log and securing them an AFCON position for next year. I do think Gambia have slightly more quality than the Congo Republic so I'm going for a 2-1 Gambia win and my betting tip is over one and a half goals. Then our last fixture for part one is Gambia taking on Mauritiania. Now Gambia have won two, drawn two and lost one in their last five fixtures. This is a top of the table clash. Gambia did beat DR Congo 1-0 in the first round. Where DR Congo were favorites to win that game. So very, very big skull for Gambia there. And then Mauritiana on the other hand have won three, drawn one and lost one in their last five fixtures. They absolutely destroyed Sudan in the first round, beating them 3-0 and moving to the top of the table. Mauritiana have won the last three games they've played so they are in some good form. This is also going to be a very, very difficult, tight game. This game could honestly go either way. So I'm going for a 1-1 draw and my betting tip is under three and a half goals. Okay.